What's up to Private Mechanic here today. We are going to do a quick video here to help improve the look of your old trailer. Been beat up by debris over the years. And we're going to replace this old time manual jack which squeaks and is rusted, it's missing the foot. Got to use wood to chalk it up. We're going to put a brand new electronic power jack on that. Let's get to it. Alright, so for lack of caring, I'm not going to prep this surface at all. I'm just going to spray right onto it with good old Rust-Oleum Flat Black. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And then we're just going to send it. Oh yeah. Hold the can approximately 6 to 10 inches away. Shake periodically throughout the process. Well that looks a lot better, wouldn't you agree? Exactly one can. Alright, so let's get started on the more exciting of the two projects here. Uh, replacing this thing, so uh, let's go ahead and see what it takes for me to uh, take out this old piece of crap and uh, put on a nice one. Let's do it. It would probably be wise for me to lower the trailer onto the hitch before I try and take off the frickin' jack. Two problems. One, I can't get this bolt out of this socket, so I'm gonna have to go use my vise. And two, you see that lip right there? I'm gonna have to try and beat that flat because I can't take it out right now. Fun fact, um, do you know what kind of hammer this is? This is a ball peen hammer. What are ball peen hammers used for? Most of you probably don't know. Well, this side's for hitting what you normally hit, but this side, that's for actually shaping metal. And that's what we're about to do. We're gonna shape some damn metal. She a beaut. Thank you. All right, so before I go bolting anything down, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my tailgate clears this. Because what a what a disaster that would be. Do you see that? Really wanted it to face forward because it's got this sweet little light deal going on here to illuminate everything. And that's how it's going to have to be. Alright, before we go on to bolt this thing down now that we got an acceptable position, we're going to want to clean this A-frame up a little bit and uh, make sure we get a good ground or else it's not going to work good. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy, I swear. I didn't like the look of these old bolts, so I went and looked in my inventory to see if I had any fresher ones. Well, I don't, so I'm gonna run to Lowe's and grab some. But first, I was looking at the alignment when I turned this, and apparently those three holes are not equally spaced apart because there is only one orientation this thing will fit in, and it is facing forwards. It just barely nicks this little light bulb housing. So the only thing I can think of is I'm not returning this. I really want this jack. Can't do anything about my car's tailgate and where it is. I'm going to try and remove this housing. Well, no matter what, this tailgate is going to hit if I install this jack. This sucks. So clearly I only have one choice. I have to drill a new hole in the steel plate of this new jack. So what a lot of people don't know is when you start to go try and drill 
in a flat, smooth surface, uh, you want to try and make a center punch so your drill bit doesn't walk away. If you've ever tried to just start with a drill bit on a steel flat surface, it'll just walk and not go where you want it. So how you get around that is you get yourself a center punch, which this is the best I have on hand right now, and you hit it real hard and you make a little indentation so your, fill, your drill bit doesn't walk anywhere but it follows straight where you want it. Just like that. So I'm going to start with a smaller drill bit and work my way up. No project is ever easy and fast. Apparently, those three symmetrical holes aren't symmetrical on a trailer jack. They're offset, so you can only install it one way. I don't care about going and getting new bolts anymore. If these work, then they work. If they don't, then I'll go get new ones. All right, so exciting news. I got all three bolts to start threading in. I hit these bolts with a little bit of this and uh, rust kind of melted off them, so I'm just going to send it. Yes, nice and tight, and I forgot to put my trailer wiring harness ground in there. The best! Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for. Sweet! It works. All right, I'm gonna clean up this mess and uh, you guys have a great day.